He went it hunting is. and he did not fail. The question is, the question is how much? Okay, I'm not a dumb guy. Me 11 US. Wow. Wow. I'm a big Jordan 2 guy. Thinking about adding these to my collection. There's something about the Jordan 2 that I really, really, really love recently. Might have to pick these up. All right, guys, welcome back to the crew summer vlog series. Today we're in Phoenix, Arizona, just landed and we're already getting ready to go to the sneaker event, which is Heated Soul. A quick trip just so we could go to the sneaker event, hang out and do another cash out challenge for you guys like we did in Orlando. So the cash out challenge is basically when I go to sneaker events and I try to buy sneakers. I give myself a certain amount of shoes I'm trying to buy and I give myself a certain budget. Last time I did five sneakers and I think today I'm going to be doing five sneakers as well and last time I did a thousand dollar budget and today I'm gonna to be doing a thousand dollar budget as well and what you're gonna see is me going around the sneaker convention going to different booths different sellers trying to buy the shoes I want to get and negotiate the prices to get them for the best price that I could possibly get it for so yeah here are the five sneakers that I'm looking to cop today with my thousand dollar budget so we got the LeBron Miami Knights which was one that I tried to get last time the Jordan one low neutral grays that just came out I don't know why I don't have those yet definitely want to walk away with those black and white nike dunk lows and the reason why i want these randomly even though they came out like couple months ago is because I feel like this is a shoe that I could eventually just get rid of and make more money off of. Also, the new baby blue dunk lows. I think, I forgot what they're calling them, but it's just the white and baby blue color of the lows. And then I'm possibly looking for some more Yeezy slides, either the orange ones or just the regular tan ones. Now, if we were to just buy these from like a marketplace online, you're probably going to be paying about $1,100 to $1,500 total, depending on where you buy from. But like I said, the budget is $1,000, so I'm going to try to get all that stuff for a thousand dollars and i don't know if it's going to be possible but that's part of the challenge so we're going to try to make it happen and while i'm getting ready and we head over there i quickly want to talk about sneaker flea's new mystery box because they're dropping those right now so let's quickly unbox the ones that they sent me and i could tell you more about it then we'll go back to the sneaker event where i'm going to do the challenge for you guys so so quickly let's check that out and then we'll cut back to us at the sneaker event where we're going to be buying and cashing out on some sneakers. So the homies over at Sneaker Flea are back with their mystery boxes for only $99 this time. And they're available right now. The link is gonna be down below. And to keep things quick for you guys, half of the screen is gonna be the unboxing of two of the packages they sent me of what you could possibly get. And the other half is going to be me explaining the mystery boxes. So every mystery box guarantees one hoodie from either Antisocial or Revenge. But also random boxes will have shirts from Bathing Ape and Off-White. But the cool thing about the mystery boxes is the golden ticket situation. So if you end up opening your package and finding a golden ticket, you win the prize that is written on there. For instance, this month's grand prize is the off-white UNC Jordan 1. Imagine winning that shoe for only a hundred bucks. They're also going to be giving away some Travis Scott 270s and a bunch of iPads. On top of that, there's just a bunch of random sneakers and other dope prizes. So there's multiple winners, not just one. So guys, make sure you pick up your sneaker flea mystery boxes because they do sell out quick and I would love for you guys to hit on some dope stuff. Again, they are available right now. I'm gonna leave the link at the top of the description of this video, so make sure you guys get them before they're gone. Good luck to everyone. Now back to the vlog. All right, guys, we just got to the AZ Mills Mall. We are here at Heated Soul. We're gonna start walking around because we got a challenge to do. We only have a few hours to do it, so let's go ahead and get started. Mina, you got the cash or no? Damn, she got the bag. Sugar mama. You're so annoying. <laughs> So guys, the biggest celebrity in Phoenix right now is that guy on that t-shirt right there. Sons in four now. Oh, yeah. Sons in four. These are Look, pretty he sick. he says he's not a dunk guy. I'm he's not a dunk guy. He's over here telling me to buy it. He I'm telling you to, to buy it because I live through you. I don't wear dunks, so if there's a pair that I like, I get it for you so you wear it. Yeah. But we're not getting these. I'm just appreciating it. Because I said no. I'm just appreciating it, all right? I'm just appreciating Whatever. it. I heard about that. You're not that guy. You're not that guy, pal. Trust me. You're not that guy. Whenever I get a pair of dunks, I'm going to put that meme on there you're, you're not, not that guy okay. all right so we found the panda dunk they're asking for three three sixty i was trying to pay around three hundred so we just got here though but just just to know what one booth has it at and then you go around and try to find it elsewhere but 360 is a little steep so definitely don't want to be paying that all right so the dj just started so the music's loud so hopefully we don't get copyright but we saw the bright ass easy slide from across the hall hopefully it's my size 11 us Woo! Oh, wow. so 
I'm a size 10, but in my slides, I like to go a size up. I feel like he's turning up the music as I talk. 250. 250. What did you have it at? I had it about 200. All right, so the company over here is Secret Sauce. All right, the music is just way too loud in the background, so I'm gonna soon do a voiceover. But yo, Secret Sauce hooked it up for retail on the Yeezy slides. So definitely appreciate them. Check them out. They got a Discord and all that. Really great company. I'm gonna be working with them in the future. So I appreciate them with the assist. $60 retail, I'll take it. Let's get it. If you didn't know, I'm a big Jordan 2 guy. Thinking about adding these to my collection. There's something about the Jordan 2 that I've really, really, really loved recently. Might have to pick these up. My guy pulled up with the photo, asked me to sign it, we gotta do it, you know what I'm saying? This is probably the weirdest photo oh of me. Oh my god, the <laughs> worst photo of This all is like time. one of my most liked photos on Instagram though. I've always been into Jordan 2s, I'm thinking about getting these. I might add these to the collection. I don't know why, but. Jordan 2s have been on my radar. My Did cop. I just smack him one time? No, don't smack me. We found the pair again. There's, everybody has pairs, but the prices are just a little higher than I wanted to pay. My guy right here said 300, which is the lowest we found them for. So I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about pulling it. It is a 10 and a half. Should we keep walking around and then come back? Thank you. All right, we'll do that. We'll walk around and then we might come back for these. Rookie mistake. When we went back to go get those shoes, they were gone. All right, guys, I think we found the one shoe that I wanted the most. I see one. I hope it's a size 10. Oh, it looks big. 12? Um, I, yes. Does that not? That doesn't look got like so hyped up for nothing. Oh, it's a 12 women. That's oh. a 10 and a half. I was like, this doesn't look like a 12. So close yet so far. My other neutral grays, the high tops were a 10 and a half and they were way too big. That's so I don't want to, I don't want to. Yeah, I don't want to take the risk again and, and get those and they don't fit. So you got to keep looking, man. You got to keep looking. All right, man. I'm not going to lie to you guys. It is hard out here for a sneakerhead trying to get some steals and deals. We just left the mall to go eat. So this event is basically inside of the mall, which is an outlet. And uh, one cool thing that did happen is because this is an outlet, they actually have a Nike clearance store. And in Nike clearance stores, you can find some steals and some surprise pickups. That happened because I asked one of the employees if they had any heat in the back. And he said, hey, we have these and when he originally pulled them out i was like wow okay out of all the shoes you could have had you had these the wannabe oregon sixes right here as you can see this is from the outlet no top and they were only 79.99 so as soon as i saw the price i decided to pick these up because although i do have them in the gr version and in the pe version i was like wait 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 there's literally a sneaker event around the corner so i decided to pick these up and i'm gonna take them to the sneaker event and see if i could sell them for at least double what i paid to try to pay for some of my shoes that i'm gonna be buying today or trying to be buying again i'm not a reseller but i thought this was a cool opportunity and it's cool content so why not i'm gonna try to sell them for damn near retail so it's like somebody we could flip them for even more now like i said this challenge is not going to our way two of the shoes are damn near impossible to find inside the convention i don't know why i keep adding this lebron miami night shoe to the list it's like impossible to find for some reason even though they're not even going for anything and uh i'm hoping that when we do go back inside we're gonna see more pairs of the jordan one low neutral grays pop up because they were slowly starting to pop up just not the right sizes so i'm hoping those pop up and uh maybe we'll get one of the ducks dunks ducks ducks so yeah man if we could just get at least one pair of the shoes we got the slides literally we've only spent 60 bucks we only spent 60 bucks y'all suns fans yeah. i'm kidding look at him he's all dressed out in the sun's gear what's the series gonna end probably in five let's see what happens in five suns in six what happened to suns in four <laughs> Patrick Beverly. <laughs> Patrick Beverly. This man got this man got red Octobers on. He came to my table with the electric green, the outlet there. Come on, but bro. Hey, 170. But hey, man, big fan, so I'm gonna try to work something out. Do 170, one, I got you. 170, I got you. All right, shake on it. You do 170. 170. Hey. Hey, yo, shout out to my guy, bro. Hey. T Dub kicks the campaign, man. Fresh out of AZ. I got the best prices out here. Youngest nigga doing it, man. You see what we doing? I'm gonna let put these right here. I feel like I just walked into heaven right now so my guy right here is buying the sixes off me so i gotta give him uh we said 170 i gotta give him 30 back all right so we just did the transaction so the budget went up and then i happened to see those right there in my size which i've been looking for right, good so, eye by the way i missed it too. hey this is sneakerhead uh sneakerhead instincts right here so size 10 220 ds 
200. You know what? We're struggling today. Let's do it. 210. We got two. I've been wanting these. There you go, boss. Yes, sir. Check these off the list, baby. Thank finally. God. I finally. Thought those were, I thought that was the last thing you were going to find on the this list. This is the only one I've seen in the building. And it's literally by the exit. So earlier today, I told my guy I was looking for a pair of these. And he said, later on, I'm going to find that pair and bring it to you. Yes, sir. We went hunting. He went there hunting is. and he did not fail. Yes, sir. Size 10. Miss. Size 10. The question, is, the question is how much? Look, I paid. 190. You 190. Yeah. Just because. Take my money. Take, it. Take my money. Take Hell yeah. Appreciate y'all, man. Let's do it. Let's do it, man. I need these. Can I take a picture? Yeah, of course, bro. Yeah. Let me see if I got the cash. Hold on. I just, got to. I just bought the LeBron. <laughs> Go ahead and tell the people where they can find you, business, man. all that. So underscore fiends on Instagram. We got our own store in Arizona, culture underscore city. Pull up if you local. Show some love to y'all boys. You got the, is that your flyer? No, sir. Okay, we ain't showing it. <laughs> all right, so I got 120 so cash. Do you have any? Cash left or no? Come on, you're the manager. You're the, you're the finance manager, manager Vita. What do you mean? Where's my in? shoes at? We got your pair on our table right oh, now. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, man. You appreciate you, man. Oh, yeah. Thank you for your support. Yes, sir. Yes, Keep sir, man. Feet, appreciate y'all. That's it. We're done. We are exhausted. We have literally like one hour of sleep in the last 48 hours. Three out of five. We did better than That's, last time. Yeah, we're slowly getting better. And on top of that, we not only bought shoes, but we sold the shoe. So I'm going to go back to the hotel and recap everything, show you detailed look at everything we got. Well, first, we got to stop at the homie sneaker store guest list. He's the one that actually threw the event here at the mall. If you're ever in Arizona, pull up to AZ Mills and come to their store guest list because it's always here. The real question is who got the better on feet today? What do you guys think? Comment down below who got better on feet, Mina or me? For the first time ever, I'd say you, but you know, I think I rock it better. <laughs> so yo, you know the vibe. All right, so we're inside guest list right now. If you guys remember, we did the pop-up here with me, Blazonary, Jacob Star, Ari, Yeezy Busta, Harrison, Tony. I think that was it. We did the pop-up. That in sounds like a crazy group. Yeah, it was a crazy ass lit pop-up that we did. But yo, we're inside guest list. Crazy, crazy Jordan wall. Jordan ones over here. Jordan retros all the way. 11s, 12s, lows, highs, everything. If you like mids, they got mid. We got some 20s, bro. I know y'all don't know about this, but these are pretty fire. Where's your Jordan 2 section? Because I'm a big Jordan 2 fan. I'm not even lying. We only got one pair of 2s. One pair? Right I've always been into Jordan 2s, no cap. Biggest <laughs> cap, insert cap emoji I've been, here. I've been trolling all day with that. Like I said, I'm exhausted, so we're gonna go back to the room now, show you guys all the pickups for today, and then, uh, yeah, just recap of the whole event. Let's get it. All right, guys, I am dead. Like, I am so exhausted. First of all, the dunk situation, no way that we could get the dunks for less than 300. That shoe is so sought after right now that it was like, it wasn't gonna happen. But I'm not giving up. I will do it on my next challenge. I do wanna still get a pair of these uh, black and white dunks. All right, so first off, man, we got the Yeezy slides right here. Now, I went with the size 11 because the Yeezy slides do run a little, a tad bit small. I currently have the green ones on. These are the ones that I originally got from 2019 when they came out. I got these from uh, Manila. They gifted them to me. This is a size 10 and they run kind of small. So now I got the new orange ones in a size 11. This isn't really a comparison video, but these are a size 11 and they still look smaller than the original 10s, which is crazy. Like, look at that. The orange looks smaller and this is a size 11. That is so insane to me that they're making these smaller. Go a full size up if you get the new Yeezy slide. But yeah, we got these for $60. Now that was a hookup price, obviously for the average person when they're going and trying to buy shoes, nobody's gonna hook them up for retail and Unless it's like a homie. So mark that down, $60 when the goal for these was actually about $200. So that's a big W in my book. All right, so after we got these for 60 bucks, you know we found those Jordan 6s at the clearance store. We got lucky with those. We spent $80 on those. And then we ended up flipping them for $170. And then we ended up finding these right here. Miami Night LeBrons, which were on the hit list for the last time we did this challenge. And these cost us $210. And these things are so freaking beautiful. Originally, this was a very limited shoe. But now that these have come out, you know, 
Nike basketball isn't that hype, so not too many people care about it. So these are not going for that much. I offered him 200 and he counter offered with 210 and I accepted it because y'all were calling me a cheap ass the last time I did this and I didn't budge on $10. So I was like, you know what, let's do it. We got these for 210, which is a pretty solid price because the retail is 180. And then last but not least, the homies came through with the Air Jordan 1s, $190. So total spent with the three shoes, the slides, the LeBrons, and these bad boys right here. That is not bad for three sneakers. It would have been more if we didn't end up buying the sixes, but that did help us a little bit with the budget. And yeah, these are going straight to the toe. I'm wearing these tonight because we are going to dinner. I'm throwing these on because this is such a clean and beautiful shoe. I'm pretty happy with this challenge today. We did way better than last time. Three out of five sneakers, and I'm gonna continue to do this at different sneaker events that I go to. And one day the goal is to hit all five sneakers. And when we do that goal, maybe we'll do a huge giveaway and give away one of the shoes in the video or something like that i don't know yet but this was fun for me please smash the thumbs up button i appreciate y'all tuning in and sticking with me through the cruise summer it is getting hot in here so i'm gonna end this vlog because my camera is probably overheating and i need a nap because your boy is tired all right i'll see you guys on the next one <sighs> we out Wow, it's so beautiful. It looks so good for like videos. Like when we're doing our videos, if we get one, it's gonna be so smooth. Like I just wanna spend the whole day in this car right now.